I face, I, my heart dropped. I was like, <laughs> this is like the second week of school. Yeah. Like <laughs> just got freshman campus. year. We're right? not, yeah. We're well, not even tough, close man. to playing. I'm like, I'm not going to be on the power play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing. A I'm lick. picking up pucks. Yeah. It was over before <laughs> yeah. it started. Welcome back to Pucks in Deep, episode number 89. Sam Gagne, I'm just going to say it, James. Mm, I'm your co-host, Connor Thelman. And I'm your other co-host, James Murray. This week, Connor, another Minnesota Wild player in the studio, our third player in the studio. Huge guest. He's got a gold medal around his neck. Big. Number 12th overall draft pick, first rounder for the Minnesota Wild. Number 12 on the ice. Boldy, number 12 on the ice, Mm. Boston College star. Matt Boldy's in the studio. It's uh, Wow. It's a wow. It is a wow. I mean, he was here, I mean, with his scooter. The guy, I mean, talk about getting pucks deep. I mean, he went up a couple flights of stairs just to get in the studio. Yeah, just no elevator. I it mean, doesn't matter. The guy's going to get to the corners buddy, buddy rolled one up way or another. Scooter and I just like, ah, <laughs> damn not, it, you know. Like, not a great start, but. I was like, I'll carry your scooter up. You just got to get up there, buddy. And Yeah, no, boom. he took it in stride. Like boom, he, yeah. <laughs> the way he was moving quick with that gonna, scooter. Like, say stride as he scoot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He was he was rolling in. You know, <laughs> like absolute some steam behind those tires, and he looked good. Like you know, game shape. Obviously, he was basically he was made the roster. Yeah. You yeah. Know, before absolutely. that injury happened, he was flying in camp. Had a great season with the Iowa Wild last year before mm. he got called up for playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just a great year overall, winning gold. Is that good? Yeah. And then just the success he had at BC. Is Number just, one seed for BC, leading the team in points. And, uh, is that good? Yeah. Scored in the tourney too, and didn't bring that up. I should have, but. Um, I mean, he was good enough to hit his coach in the eye with a ping pong ball and still second weekend on campus. Yeah. It's still just power play one time, just mm-hmm, mm-hmm. loaded. So the the guy's good. Um, great to have him. Second BC Eagle we've had on. Yes. I yes. guess technically third with Danny Waite. Sure. Stuff. We're not, we're no, not counting that. Okay. No. Second BC Eagle we've had on. I, twice. I mean, him and Newhook, the fact that they're roommates. Good God. That's electric. I mean, that that is college hockey. Like and, he talks and, about the and experience. And roommate with our boy Sweeney in Iowa. And, and Sweeney. Yeah. Shout out to Swainy. He made him sound I mean, really good. It's and just funny that Pucks and Deep Guys are roommates all over the country. Dude, I mean, I mean the chemistry is just built in. Like, it is. It is. And just I, I, I have to say that. I think we take a huge part in that. And uh, yeah, I think we really broke Iowa him in. definitely knew we had Swainy. I'm like, we're ruining him with this guy. This guy's coming on the pod one day. So. Yeah, they're like, you know, he can he can hang with Boldy. No doubt about it. And, you know, they went shopping together. Yeah, I think they got the hands, same stuff. I think their hands touched like in the deli. They're just like, you know. <laughs> Like you want this salami too? Oh, yeah, oh, let's bring man. it back for the crib. So yeah, yeah. I mm. think I mean, God, this guy tore it up at BC. A lot of good stuff in the interview. Um, make sure you subscribe to our our, our podcast on Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify, and YouTube, Pandora, all of it. We're gonna but, be throwing uh, clip. I mean, there's clip after clip after clip. This, in this is one. this is a good one. I mean, it, it it was a good one. Sorry, we're recapping it, right? Yeah, we're yeah, recapping this. This, is, this this was a good one, and you know, he talks about his time at BC and NTDP, and then winning the World Juniors and. All that through COVID and everything and getting drafted by the Wilders. I mean, it's all good stuff, but is his perspective on it. God, I got to say, the most mature 20-year-old I've ever met in my life. Right. Like, that's what we were saying. This like, guy you go, like a 10-year NHL vet in here tonight. Yeah. I mean, he enters BC. He looks like a newborn child. And mm-hmm. then he grows up so much in two years. I mean, his work stands for itself. I mean, did you see his just, calves? Yeah. He's, just, he's a big guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm glad he's not here so I can say this and not get my ass kicked. But like, he... He grew up in two years, yeah, yeah. And he's skating with the big boys now. I mean, no and transition like, needed. Like he's perspective ready. on how I got into college hockey too, and all of it. I think, you know, for that's how many fans start is going to games as a kid. He knows how important it is right. for the kids and what you know this atmosphere. It's 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 terrible for hockey in general, but especially college hockey when you have these empty barns. But now that we're seeing them packed again and kids are going, we're getting more oh. college hockey fans. It's huge, and the NHL's on ESPN now. It's just everything's going well. Um, but all in all, a great interview, a lot of good insight and, uh, just a great guy. I mean, now we are pumped to have him here in Minnesota and yeah, it's hey, a wild our, fan. Our, just we're two and all right now. And, uh, just wait till he cracks that time lineup. This is released, you know, hopefully we have a better record than that even. And yeah, we're ready for him to crack the lineup. He's, he's ready for sure. So yeah, once he comes back, I mean, just imagine Boldy with the bump. We okay. saw, we saw pre bump Boldy for the mm-hmm. Iowa wild. I think he had like 18 points in 12 games. Gross. Yeah. Yeah. Throw him the bump now in the league. Yeah. Oh God. Boldy, I just hope, uh, th- thanks for coming on, but, uh, just please let me know when you're going to the lineup because we're, we're going to be at that game, first, first game, no doubt. Absolutely. I'll bring the scooter. I'll I'll come in, you know, just 
be like, remember us? Remember, <laughs> the, remember these times we had? Uh, it's going to be electric. I cannot wait for that. Uh, yeah, just, I mean, watching just skill level at you know scoring and, and world juniors and at BC as gold in the tournament, man. Just like God, the Wild need this guy. This is the guy the Wild have well, been you're seeing the, forever. You're seeing the success. You know, Caulfield's having another yeah, world yeah. juniors and that's teammate, the thing new said, hook, too. and and he mentioned is scoring like, man, in the playoffs. Like, Spencer going Knight from, going from the world juniors team or just NTDP to to BC is a step back for a second because like those kids are so quick, so right. fast. Their Playing IQs, with Zegris to next level, like. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and now, like you said, Zegers, Caulfield, all these kids, I mean, York, they're all ex- just exceeding at the NHL level. And So you put that talent around him again, and like you said, like it's sink or swim. It's kind of been like that his whole life. Yeah. The yeah. guy knows how to flourish. Like mm-hmm. I'm know, just glad like, he didn't choose goalie. All right, but enough about Matt Boldy. I mean, sick guy. Make sure you listen to the whole yeah, he's all right. podcast after this coming up here. <laughs> yeah, he's decent. But I mean, how about the slate of games this weekend? Yeah. Absolutely nuts. I mean, first... We were there. We were at a couple of them. We were at a couple... Um, there's a lot of people out there, so we should start Friday night. We're at Mariucci. I mean, the biggest student section I've ever seen. We were there, but we don't know if the golfers were there. Uh, they, they a little bit late. They were, they were yeah. late to the party. Yeah, party got started without them. I mean, beyond the, it was one nothing before we could get set up. Yeah, yeah. Like it was so. Dog showed up in a big way. Close one on Saturday. It was packed though. There's two thousand uh, gopher students there. I will You'd love say, to see uh, that. I was yeah. disappointed though. I was very disappointed. I did, I didn't think uh, they they brought. Not the very energy. organized. The, the student section. I think I put there. down the student section leaders. It's just like there's no energy. You know, me and Miles yeah. were in that student section, and it was just like, yeah, I see a bunch of gold here, and there's two thousand kids here, but where the hell are the chants? Like, this is embarrassing. Especially like they scored a goal, and then a minute later, whatever, you got to start a ch- like. You're the number four team in the country. Figure it out. Yeah, like, I don't care if they you knew guys the goal been, song, and that was it. It seemed like. Uh, like yeah, all the luck. chants were off. Even the band was off. Man, everyone was offbeat. The Gophers just didn't. Crookshank was play. on first goal. Crookshank had a good night. Uh, that was Charles a nasty Schiff, goal. Good feed. He was there, but I mean, all in all, I expect a lot more from not only the fan base in Minnesota. I think they got to lower the ticket prices. Like I'm ripping on my own team right here. Good lord, lower the ticket price for general admission. Students go meet just like one night a week for a couple weekends until you figure out how to chant. And the Gophers show up next time. There's an in-state rival there. So um, it sounds like they got to go to an AA meeting for how to cheer. Dude, I'm serious. Like I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed going to a Gopher game and you know what it used to be. And then you get there. Granted, there was no chance like last year. And Duluth was a little behind too the first couple weekends. But Duluth student section a million times better. It was. It was. It was. It was. But I'm just saying, like you had that many students there. Figure it out. Figure it out. Get the crowd involved. The boys need you when you're at home to to figure out how to cheer. And they just all stood there with their you know, hands up their ass. They just couldn't figure it out. So um, embarrassing on the Gophers part here. And I, I expect them to figure it out and get going here. The team's the team has a skill. That's for sure. We saw that came back. Yeah. Great. I think they're going to be late bloomers here, game, but they're young. They're young and they'll figure it out. Facts. What about uh, St. Thomas? You were yeah. in the building for the, I was going to say inaugural, the first win yeah. for the Tommies there yep. against Second Fair game State. Of the series. 5-2, um, like convincing too. Yeah, they ran them. They ran them good. And uh, it was... Without Sofa. I mean, not, that's cocky. Yeah, that was a cocky, cocky you know, move, you Rico. Led the team in points and you take them out for the first win. But whatever. Biggest Cavs in the um, team easily. Not huge. Even. I, mean, I mean, we're not even I saw them after that, the right? game. I was just like, <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but... A, a big win for St. Thomas. They look really good. They look fast. They want it. They were hungry. They were hungry. They were close um, the night before. Rumor, rumor was OT. that Rico Rico gave a speech, whether it was the night before or the, the morning of, um, saying, guys, you know, if you want to keep feeling like this, you know, a- after, after a game every time, go ahead, be my guest. But if not, you want to go have a good Oof. feeling after a game? I just had like a little, a little yeah, chill kind yeah, of go yeah. by. Yeah, and uh, it worked. It worked. And that's what uh, Tommy was talking about after mm-hmm. the game. And um, all in all, it was, it was you know, lot, not a lot of fans there. You're only sitting on one side of the rink. It was freezing. I was cold. I had to get a hot chocolate like halfway through the game. That's like, a gritty wow. environment, though. Yeah, it is gritty. That's what you got to do. And uh, but they played well. I mean, they they were fast. They got good shots, good scoring opportunities, and they they just outplayed Ferris State. But uh, shout out to Ferris State though for having me on the radio uh, broadcast. So that was fun. Oh, yeah. They got to. I got a little interview there. That was fun to talk about some ECH. Um, but yeah, all in all, is we love both teams. Uh, yeah, but a good first win for St. Thomas, and it's good seeing the boys afterwards in the tunnel there, walking back to the locker room, and good energy. So. Yeah, that's huge. Just for Minnesota puck. I mean, St. Thomas, you give them a few years, they're going to be right there with every team, I feel like. Yep. Um, but yeah, let's move on to another series that stuck out. Got to say Michigan Western, right? I think that's the biggest one. Yeah, this I mean, weekend. that was that distracted me while I was at both games. Just like I was watching their game the whole time, you know, even though it was at different games. It's just like, wow, how can yeah. you not? Right. Western Western came out and they had something to prove. It's an in-state rivalry. Ethan again. Frank. And, yeah. Is it fr- like he, he could have had four more goals this weekend and he already has, I think, six goals now. Yep. Yep. He's gross. Wagon. I mean, do you see number 26 repping that A, a little bit of smirk on him? Like, did that guy play roller hockey? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was watching that game Saturday night. So Western should have had the sweep. It's in OT or a minute left. 
Ethan Frank has a nasty tip. Mm-hmm. They're up 3-2, probably game over. I mean, it's ice water. It's yeah. at home. Yeah. You know, lunatics are going nuts. They go to the review. The camera angle, you know, college angle, college yeah. hockey camera that's angles BS. are just awful. You can't see shit. Yeah. And somehow they said that's enough to wave it back. And then you go into OT, Michigan three on three. Bortolo yeah, literally circled matchup. around with a puck for 30 seconds, just like like he's playing shell and like ragging yeah. it. Yeah. And then just feeds Blankenberg for a rip. What are you going to do? It's it's not fair. So it's like, yeah, Michigan wins that in OT. But it's, I mean, Western looked really good this weekend. We're going to have him in the top 10 for listening to this. Uh, tomorrow they deserve it. It looked sick, and yeah, they've had good a weekend. Bunch for them. of good. They they swept fairs earlier this year, and they're they're doing well in the in-state matchups, and that's that's huge. Um, all they need to right. do is change the logo. I think that was the funniest thing. As oh soon as they God. beat Michigan, the first thing I saw was let's time Everybody, to change the logo. Man, I was tomorrow, like, tomorrow I already made the rankings, and yeah. tomorrow do you I use put, their old logo. I use the new one. I want to I want to uh, see Fury. Uh, okay, because I think that's what gets people going the most. Yeah. The, because they see the old logo and they're like, ah, they don't comment. We're looking for engagement here, people. We should make an edit. Sh- we should say <laughs> it's tough. This logo or this logo on the on the ranking, whatever the number I, they are. Ooh, I might make a new one and have the old one or the new one crossed off. New old yeah, one in there. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna it, do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do yeah. that. Then no, for sure, comment. But yeah, love to see that out of Western Michigan. Still look good, but you know they came out slow against a good team, and they, they couldn't. Did. For the first time, they couldn't come back from it. So yep, and I think. It, we, you know, I saw the, uh, the night that they were playing Duluth at, at Amsoil there, and they struggled in the first period. They couldn't, they couldn't score. Right. They couldn't even break it in the zone. So Fair. them versus the NCHC, a little older, um, just as skilled in my opinion. I think they struggle a little bit. It's going to be interesting. Like, how are they going to face off versus a CCAJ team? Mich- Mankato, they barely beat. So 3-2. Yeah. Um, I, well, ECAC, now their schedule. They face they've one, a, one of those teams. So. They got Wisconsin next weekend. We're, we're talking about a rebound. That is an absolute. Watch like, out, Scotty. Yeah. Bucky, so Bucky's got to watch out. We love you, Max. That's all love I want to say. Max, yeah. And rides and Owen. I think we covered bases. I and Bryce. R- Roman. Yeah. Roman. That's it. We'll cut it off there. Okay. There we go. Cole. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he doesn't love his back yet. Not yet. Okay. That's all right. It's tough go. Um, how about Colgate? Called that split. Or no, I called sweep. Fuck. But the Raiders looked really good this week. I weekend. called split. You called split. I, I mean, no, I called sweep ASU, I think, even worse, as I'm texting coach. Yeah, no, you did sweep ASU. Dana Borges was just I was riding Copperwood, and I, I, I was wrong, and I, I apologized to the whole Colgate uh, Copperwood didn't team. even have, I mean, like, I'm, he played fine this weekend, but not putting up crazy numbers. Yeah. You I know, mean, I don't think he Colgate scored Colgate came to play Friday night, and I think that is one team that, you know, wasn't in the top 20 this year. I want to make a post about it. Let's have it. Let's have a post. There should where be some dark teams that aren't just yeah, dark horse teams. Dark horse teams that make the tournament. Colgate's this year. definitely there. Colgate's first page. I think they've. Uh, yeah. Anytime you score eight goals on any team in college hockey, that's impressive. But to do it versus ASU, a team that's been hot to start the year, that's that's a statement. And game nobody and had them on the go. radar except yeah. for maybe ECH. We because we're giving them a bump. It's not like we're going to throw you a bump and not think you're going to do anything with it. Yeah, yeah. Colgate took that bump. Bumps and wrote are hard it. to come by over here. They really are. Yeah. Plus, Colgate I already looked a little sneak peek. They're playing Western next weekend. If they beat Western. After Western beat Michigan, they're sniffing yeah. top ten or not? Okay, not top not, ten, not, but, but they're yeah. they're getting there. So yeah, Colgate looked good. They almost beat ASU. moves back and forth. Great game on Saturday. Uh, what else we got to touch on? We already we already did Minnesota versus UMD. Uh, Boston College. I don't understand them. They I don't think anyone understands wrecked them, so, no Denver worries. on yeah. Saturday night, and yeah. that is after losing to and Denver's been really good this year. I mean, yeah. Oh, they lost to. <laughs> They lost to Colorado College, James, which if you listen to our podcast last week, I said I'd eat my hat. So I need to get an edible hat <laughs> from somebody. Oh. I didn't say I'd eat this one because it is beauty status. We love our sponsor. But I said yeah. I will eat a hat. Yeah. And yeah, I'm munching that thing because shout out to Colorado College, the Tigers, Sam Gleason. That, I made you eat that hat. I'm going to eat that shit. Sam Gleason, that penalty shot was nasty. Had on the highlights yeah. last weekend. Yes, and they, I mean, they were winning the whole game Friday. Yep. And then they lose one nothing to Northeastern on Saturday. Again, hey, I don't understand them. Credit, you know what? I don't I, understand Boston College. I gotta be, I gotta be happened. honest with you, Thelly. I mean, you had your, you had it coming because Danny gave you the warning. He said he had that game circle on his calendar. He did, and uh, they won. So he didn't. I don't think he scored, but yeah, yeah I, still, he was first line. I like that yeah, move. Yeah, from, from yeah, the coach well, they there. got the win. They wanted to get the win for him. They got the win. Yeah, shout out, shout out to CC. Big first win for them. I mean, on the road too. So that was that was crazy. I mean, North Dakota Quinnipiac also another great series. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the Bobcats that showed up probably the series big of the time weekend, on Friday. Yeah, Tyce Milanic on that. I mean, in his own they office on the power play, they look good. But then North Dakota gets it done. I mean, North Dakota just needed. They to came split back there. hot Saturday yeah. night. So yeah. Connor Ford looks good for I me. Mean, all their I saw something posted by I think it was Schlossman mm-hmm. saying all their transfers. Are leading their they're team doing points well. like they're yeah. they're going Ashton's off. Ashton's going off. I know that. A- yeah, Ashton, Connor Ford, and there's one more in there. Um, I mean, if you're getting contributions from guys who are just not used to even the system like that, mm-hmm. 
that means they're going to be scary when it comes, you know. Yeah, just give them a couple more March. weeks. March. Not a month or two. Yeah. Yeah. So, March. I don't know. I, you don't want to keep splitting, but especially if you're North Dakota, you got to get some sweeps in there. But they've had a yeah. tough, tough uh, couple of matchups to start the year. So, true. Which I think once they get back home, the yeah. I mean, they're going to be comfortable. Taking I, care I, of I can't teams. wait for that Thanksgiving weekend versus the Gophers. That's going to be a fun one. It's going to be a good test for both teams. So, uh, we'll, we'll be there for North Dakota at North Dakota on Thanksgiving. At least I will be. It's going to be a fun one. Sold out, obviously. Let's go. All right. We got to be really... Anything else we got? I mean, your beef swept. We'll beef say that. Swept, big, big sweep. Big on sweep. the road. On the road. Tough place to play. I don't know they got the sweep done there. Um, I do want to touch on BU. I don't... I don't know how, how, how Again, I feel. Again, don't know. Them. Eight to six on Saturday. They, yeah, gotta, they came back, but like they're still giving up six to Merrimack. So there's a problem in net there because they lost three <laughs> two on Friday night. So yeah, what's going on with BU? Out of our top ten, top fifteen for me right now. I think. Yeah, they were. I think they were around fifteen last week, and yeah. that's another. There's once you get past the top ten, there wasn't a lot of teams that like crept up. Like I was thinking Omaha maybe for top. Omaha 10. looks good. Omaha does look good, mm -hmm. but they didn't play this weekend. But like the teams on that bubble didn't do well this weekend. Like no. Boston College mm -hmm. is getting pumped out yeah denver went zero and two even though they lost to providence who's looking really good providence they won again tonight yeah yeah uh, so shout out friars are the real deal mm -hmm. um but yeah it, it's kind of slim pickings after that you, yeah for no, no, no. No, notre dame another team that that is uh, right there but they lost they split with uh you can't have that loss you can't have that with rit yeah. yeah so it's kind of weird come back saturday night six rip but i mean tough yeah, just you can't have that Penn split. Penn State, a must sweep. They did it. They got the job done at home. First Niagara. A tough Niagara team. A yep. <laughs> they, they always show up to play. Yeah. UMass yeah. Lowell, Michigan State, another good series. They tied Friday night, and then UMass Lowell blew them out on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So yep. the Riverhawks look good there. And then yep. Lake State sweep. Shout out to Benito. Seymour, I put you in the video, and you you didn't get the numbers I expected. Mm. I'll say that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the fans mm -hmm. still enjoyed it. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think, I think one last thing we do want to touch on is Army. And their matchup is ASC. You can't leave out Army. I I didn't see that. That's on CHN. That's on CHN because they didn't. They well, should just have like a it in the corner, you know, <laughs> just like match up on Friday, AIC Army. Yeah. yeah. While I'm looking at Saturday, well, you know what Army I'm big shutout there um, versus yeah. AIC, and then they lost the night before, but four to three. So I mean, Army's back. Just a gritty matchup all in all. They're both back. We got both Jays in this too. Actually, both right behind you right now. Oh, but shit. Uh, look at that matchup. God, yeah. you know you're now standing in a battlefield right now. No, I, yeah. I didn't. Oh, well, you are. So no, I feel like I'm going to get put um, on timeout. But yeah, that's all in all for, for, for last week or this, this weekend. I think a bunch of good college hockey. Mm. Um, really excited for this upcoming weekend as well. A lot of competitive games. We want to talk about that. All right. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's move on to next week. We got a couple nice ones during the week just to help us out, get our fill a little bit. So on Tuesday... Uh, UConn, one gamers here. We got UConn versus Northeastern. Mm -hmm. Who do you got? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go Northeastern. Yep, me too. I'm riding Northeastern. How about uh, Holy yeah. Cross, Quinnipiac? Who do you got? Uh, I'm going Bobcats there. You are you Holy are. Cross. I don't think they're gonna get hot. They got, they got that win against Bentley. I think they're gonna stop there. <laughs> they're, they're still missing Dryden. So no, I'm yeah, gonna go yeah, uh, Quinnipiac. They don't have. And then Thursday, this, this is a full series Thursday, mm -hmm. Friday. But Michigan, Wisconsin. Everybody's gonna be watching that game. I feel bad for the Badgers. I think I think it's gonna be closer than at least for Thursday, maybe. Closer than what the paper is saying. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, if you're betting, what is it, minus one and a half, it's still like minus 200, you know, <laughs> like it's not going to be great. But yeah, I think yep, Michigan yep. sweeps. Yeah, me too. Okay. I'm with you. Uh, you're, you're all about the points. You weren't even going to think about going badge there. <laughs> no. Okay. I love that. Another. So let's just get into the We're going to go top 10 series here. Yep. Northern Michigan, Mankato. Who you got? I, I really want to go Northern like, split, but I just got to think Dryden gets his record breaking versus Northern Michigan Friday night and Mankato finishes the job. They need to sweep, stay top pairwise, Mankato sweep. Yeah, I'm, I'm going Mankato sweep too. I think they're, I mean, they had the week off. I mean, fresh legs for the mm -hmm. boys. Yep. And uh, yeah, Dryden's going for that record and then he's going to keep adding to it. So. A big uh, matchup for the end of the season kind of, but uh, Michigan State, Ohio State. Ooh, I mean, that's, that's a big rivalry. Who do you got in that one series? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go split there. Yeah, I thought Michigan State could have got the split. I mean, they ended up losing that series last weekend to the Riverhawks. But mm -hmm. uh, Ohio State also had a bye week. And I mean, they're, they're literally so even. I don't know who to pick. So I'm just yeah. going to say split. That's fair. But I'm going to go Ohio State sweep. All right. I'm feeling I'm feeling about guys this, this week. And uh, that's yeah, more we'll fun. See. Yeah. How about, uh, I mean, this is big. Notre Dame, Minnesota. Both teams need, need I'm, this I'm going. I'm going split here. Uh, the Gophers have not impressed me. And uh, I think Notre Dame, you know, they lost that tough one versus RIT, but they came bounce back hot. And uh, they're going to have a lot to prove. They're behind the Gophers in the Big Ten. Everyone's overlooking them for sure in the Big Ten. I think Notre Dame Which comes is weird because they have more win. They're four and one. Obviously, their schedule hasn't here, been as tough. Split. Yeah, right. I'm going to say go for sweep. I think they f they figure it out for this weekend. You do? Okay. Yeah. Boys are coming That's back. Uh, Crookshank's getting hot. Yep. 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 Let's go. How about uh, 
So top 10, Western, Michigan, Colgate. Yep. Series of the week. I'm, I already said it here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's um, going to be one of the four I mean, posts. Buster's going to be in the building. Is that at Colgate? I need to know. Hold on. I don't it know, is. Man. It is at Colgate. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, if I kind of want to drive just because that'd be great for content. But Dana, you're listening to this. You know you're hot when you got the boys there. I mean, I know you, you want guys to sweep. are selling an extra you couple want to get tickets. Into the top Maybe 10? they can afford to fly us out you there. You feeling strong, my friend? Yeah, get us out there. PJ to Colgate. Here we go. Hashtag go gate. Um, I'm Gar- gonna s- Guardians of the gate. You text him. <laughs> yeah. When Dana Board just shows up in your DMs, you respond. You do. Okay. You do. You I'm going gonna, gonna to say split here because um, that's how much respect I have for Colgate. They actually play really well at home. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Western. Man, I Western. I... Is the young They're brothers so too. good. Colgate's it's so impressing tough. me, man. I yeah. like their speed and their tenacity right now. The young brothers are sick. They are. They are. I because I don't know what to make of Western. I I think they're the better team. I embarrassed they myself this weekend. Yeah, I'm going Colgate sweep over going Western. Col- I'm going. You're right back now. on the train. Okay, I'm back on. Dana's it. gonna be in the DMs. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm going. I I they proved me wrong, and now I got to ride them. So. Okay. Western's hot though. They just beat the number one team in the nation. That's crazy. I don't Almost think Ethan twice. Frank's going to be stopped, but Colgate scores. That's what I told you. Like, yep, they can keep up with anybody. Hey, so ECAC, they're going to need to. NCHC, there's a lot on the line. I love it. Plus, I didn't know Ronnie Adder's back for Western. Like literally oh, really? okay. everybody's well, back. Yeah, yeah. They look good. So that's I'm scared. That's I'm scared a, for my Raiders. Pick. I'm riding Colgate. But though. I'm going to go split. Okay. Okay. I love that. Um, Any other top? I'm not even going to. I do want to. I just do want to touch on this one. Massachusetts, so UMass versus Merrimack. Merrimack impressed this week in the BPU. It's not not the best team, but a good team for sure. They did get eight scored I do, on them. Do you think they can split? I got to split this weekend over UMass. Who do you got? <laughs> that is bold, although Merrimack has effed up our picks a few times now. Yeah. So I see what you're doing. I'm going to go UMass sweep. I'm all in on the D-Mike train, week off, bye week. I mean, yeah. they, they need that sweep if they want to stay top 10, so... Yeah, UMass I'm, all day. Okay, I'm going split though. Merrimack. Um, Providence, New Hampshire. Big another rivalry one. there. I'm going Providence sweep. I just think... Wait, are they playing... They're, a, they're hot. Is that another series? Because Providence just played them today. Oh, shit. That's not a series, so... Scratch. Maybe. Or no, it is a series. I play them again. Poor New Hampshire. Okay. I'd go split if I were you. But I'm going... Uh, it's a home and home, so... Home I'm and going home. Split, I'm going sweep Providence. They've really impressed me every game I've watched this year of them. All highlights too, so... Yeah, I'm going to say, actually, I'm going to say split because Providence, they're legit. I'm not saying they're not, but it's three games in a row against New yeah, Hampshire. Yeah, that's tough. That's I tough. don't think they're going to beat them three times. It's so hard to beat a team three times in a row, and it is a home and home. I think mm-hmm. New Hampshire wins at home. Mm-hmm. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, any other top 10 matchups we're seeing here? Uh, we got to touch on UMass, little Boston U, so that's a big rivalry. It's not top 10, but yeah. Um, I'm going to say split there. Yeah. Both, I mean, BU on paper, honestly, should get swept. Yeah, I'm going to UMass Lowell sweep. They've been playing terrible. I'm riding the Riverhawks to a sweep here. Okay. I'm, I'm going to say split. They have so much talent. BU has to... Plus, I mean... <sighs> Poor Alaska going Even in net, they have a lot of talent. They're, they're going to a up. war. Are they playing again? Field? God. Oh, it's Alaska Cornell. I yeah, thought you said yeah. Clarkson. No, no, I was no, like, no. there's no way they're playing again. <laughs> All right. Uh, other big matchups, the ECAC teams that haven't even played in over a year, James. Yeah, they're Cornell back. Cornell versus Alaska. Oof, this gritty, is a match I never thought I'd even Cornell see. Sweep, who you got? Yeah, Cornell Sweep. Okay. All right. But Colorado College Sweep over Air Force. But well, we're touching that one. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say CC Sweep. Okay, fair. Let's go. Boys are buzzing. Yep. Um, okay, rapid fire. Dartmouth, Harvard. Welcome back to both of them. Harvard Sweep. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Split. Dartmouth beat Exhibition, beat UMass right, this past right, weekend. Right, so right. I got a sweep. Boys are back there. Okay, Harvard. So there Jason it is. Gordon-Buck. There's our picks. And as we learned this week, actually, you guys can make your picks too. Go over to DraftKings Sportsbook. We did learn that. If it if it's available in your in your state, I, the top five matchups are going to be there. I almost lost a lot of money betting on Michigan this weekend, <sighs> yeah. but I didn't. I bet on the dogs and look at me now, people. So you can do the same thing. Long Go there. Yeah. Use promo code THPN. Who knows what could happen? I mean... Also, you can bet on football, I guess, if you want to do that. Where should they go for that, James? Yeah, you're going to want to download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code THPN. Bet just $5 on any NFL team to win their game and win $200 in free bets. If they win, you win with promo code THPN this week at DraftKings Sportsbook. Get some pucks in deep, folks. And now, Matt Boldy. Ew. All right. Now, we welcome on a very, very special guest for you guys. We've got former cheat code for Boston College Eagles and current Minnesota heartthrob <laughs> for the wild here, Matt Boldy. Matt, welcome to the stew. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. In in person. Welcome to Minnesota, yeah. too. Yeah, welcome. Exactly. Welcome to Minnesota. We're happy to the have you here. state of hockey. For we, multiple we reasons. Like but here. Exactly. Yeah. How, how do you like it so far? It's been good. It's uh, I've been up in the hotel uh, down in St. Paul, so it's been... Uh, been a little hard to get out everywhere but uh yeah i've make my way around so it's been good 
There you go. Like I, mean, I said, we're happy to have you here. A lot of good spots uh, to eat if you need a few spots. I'm sure the guys got you. All but, right. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> um, where do we want to start? I mean, well, can we, can we start? Can we zoom in on that, Miles? Or that, that not get in on shot? Just, what are we zooming in on? No, the scooter. Just like just getting uh, around <laughs> on that puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it made it here. Yep. But uh, yeah, how, how how are you feeling? How's everything going? It's like, you know, we don't want to get mm -hmm. too into detail with everything, but just no, like. Uh, it's, it's going good. It's. Uh, it's uh, obviously it's a broken bone, so it's got to take some time to heal. But yep. overall, it's uh, it's been going going in the right direction. It's, it's getting better. So I hear that he's gonna be back better than ever. That's, exactly. that's all I heard yep. right there. Uh -huh. I mean, obviously, we wish you were with the Wild right now and like you had a great you know camp starting off. But you know how tough was that you know injury to have it happen like that and just you know it's got to yeah. obviously uh, not the best. You you work so hard all summer and stuff like that and. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it was just kind of a freak play, freak accident where I twisted it weird, and I kind of knew it right away. So, it definitely, uh, it definitely stung a bit. But uh, like you said, it's it's all part of the game, and hopefully, come back better. So, right, that, that's the hardest question we're asking. Yeah, yeah. Right. We're, we're getting it out of the way early. You know, but before that last hockey season, obviously, you finished with BC there in the NCAA tournament, and then you make the you know the run with Minnesota here. Um, what was that feeling like getting in the room with the with the guys coming right out of college? What was the you know what was the biggest transition for you? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for me was just going into to Iowa and mm -hmm. try not to to come off as too big of of a presence or anything like that. I mean, you're yeah. going into a team that's been together all year long, and you don't want to be <laughs> that that young guy that comes in and that everyone really doesn't like. So I kind of went in there uh, pretty quiet to myself for for the first couple of weeks until I really got to know the guys. And I mean, credit to them; they did a great job <laughs> making me feel comfortable and. That was kind of my biggest thing going in. I didn't want to go in and and be that kind of that cocky kid that I feel like a lot of kids go in and yeah and try to be right away. But <clears throat> overall, it was it was unbelievable to go there and, and start my pro career there. And then to get you know, then you're with the Wild. You have a pregame skate in the playoffs. What is that like too? I mean, that's got to be yeah. That was not knowing uh, if you're going to go or not. Like yeah. we were all hoping you'd go. Uh -huh. I mean, I placed money on the game. I was like, God, <laughs> get this kid in. But no, um, it was. Uh, Talk about that experience. I was just skating for warm ups, thinking maybe it's your debut. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was pretty stressful, actually, um, as you'd imagine. But um, I mean, same thing. I went in pretty quiet, stayed yeah. out of everyone's <laughs> way. Um, yeah. For me, I'm not very superstitious, so going into that game, it was pretty easy. My my whole mindset was, don't don't bother anyone else and and kind of do my own thing. But yeah, going in not really knowing if I was going to play or not was was a little tough. Just mentally being able to to get ready for that game, but right. like I said, um, I mean, to, even to be in that position, I was pretty fired up. So if Absolutely. it happened, uh, well, it's playoffs too. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that just couldn't be any harder I, for you. I was ready to go if if need be. That's for sure. Just eyeing the coach in the bench. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, talk about just before that though. You're at you're at BC. Um, the year's going well. If you just talk about you know. What's the number one thing you learned at BC, would you say, that you took away from there? I think just, like, my mentality of how I was able to, like, control myself in hockey, I yeah. think, was the biggest thing that I took away from it. I think junior was was obviously unbelievable for me, playing at the National Development Program, but yeah. it, it was not that it was easy, but mm -hmm. you look at that team and going out there every day and playing with those guys, they... Yeah. It's not, pretty not bad. It's pretty easy to to expect when some guys like Trevor Zegras are making seam passes like it's <laughs> nothing and Jack Hughes is finding everywhere on the ice. So kind of going into college and obviously you're going in playing with unbelievable kids, but yeah, you're not getting a lot of those plays that you're used to. Just I was spoiled to be honest, playing with those kids. So mentally I think it was hard for me right when I went in, just like frustration wise, like plays that I that I like could see in my head and that some kids they saw him but like almost it was like a step slower even for me like not mm -hmm. slower like the game was really fast but like I said you not everyone has the that skill level that our team had so mentally right. it was tough because I was going in and I was getting really frustrated and, and angry at myself about certain plays I'd make or yeah we're not producing and I think my biggest thing was was kind of let those things go over your head rather than let them bother you for the whole game right right I mean that's well, that's like a an answer that we've never got before. Obviously, you had that experience with them. I mean, now you look at guys like Zegers and, and Caulfield, they've already had success at the next that NHL level. Um, but with BC, it's it is different. I yeah. mean that's a that's tough. How many how many times did you have to switch lines and stuff like that while you're there? And did that bother you? Or did you want this guy on your line for sure? 
Um, I think when we first went into school, uh, I definitely wanted to play with New Hook. He was my right. roommate. Um, we were kind of the two freshmen coming in that offensively were we're kind of going to be in the lineup. We thought so mm -hmm. going in, I, I knew I wanted to play with him, and we actually started off together. And uh, we played, I think, the first two games together or three games, and it was ugly. <laughs> it, it wasn't very good. Um, making plays, but just it was both our first times playing college hockey, so we were like right. we were kind of all over the place, kind of a kind of a mess to be honest. So mm -hmm. we we got separated for a while, and I went through uh, that little slump that I had there, which which wasn't very fun. But I think going in, and I knew I wanted to play this new hook, and Finally, we got back together, and it was a little bit more comf. We were a little more comfortable in uh, right. in the league and stuff like that. So, being able to play with him was I was pretty fortunate. Yeah, I mean, anyone would be. I think exactly. that guy's gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you mentioned like that slump your freshman year, but like even your numbers still then were ridiculous for most college hockey players. Like mm -hmm. you know, a, way above average. But then like you definitely took a next step last year. Led your team in points, I think, with thirty one in like twenty four games or something. Like. What was that was that big difference kind of just like you know letting the game come to you more like you said or just like what what do you think yeah i think it was it was definitely confidence i think played a big role um <clears throat> like being a sophomore just a year older uh, my freshman year we had a lot of seniors and like i was saying before i don't really like to go in and be the center of attention <laughs> so i definitely felt more comfortable around the guys and for me i was able to kind of take on that bigger role and more responsibility where I always wanted to be out there. I always wanted the puck. I didn't care if I played 20 minutes or 45 minutes. I always mm -hmm. wanted to be out there. So I think that was the biggest thing, just going in, having the confidence where I knew that I could play at that level. I knew that I want to be out there and I want to have the puck more than anyone. So All right. Yeah, just ready to be the guy. I love that. What about, we do have to address one thing. Um, we had New Hook on the pod, mm -hmm. and he mentioned that you know you may or may not have hit <laughs> yeah. Coach York in the eye with a ping pong ball on accident, yeah. you know? Things happen, but can we can we talk about that? Did that story? happen? Did that uh, yeah. confirm that? Confirm or deny? Can we can't confirm. Yeah. <laughs> That's I, tough. Uh, uh, he actually called me right after, right yeah. after his interview with you guys. He was like, "I just told the yeah. funniest story ever." <laughs> <laughs> I got dropped the bomb. Uh, so we had a ping pong table in our lounge, nice ping pong table, like <laughs> nicest ping pong table I've ever played on. Oh, and New Hook's really good, and he'd always beat me, but. I was getting better and better, so I'd always beat him every once in a while and rub it in. <laughs> but we were playing before practice one day, and I was always on the far side. So, like, I had, like, the lockers behind me, like, just a wall. <laughs> New Hook had, like, five feet, the couches, the whole, like, lounge, TV, and then the door that you walk into the lounge. Sounds like his setup's a little bit better, like more room. Yeah, he, he yeah. was the champ, though. Okay, got to <laughs> choose. Right, yeah. right. right, my um, bad. Go on. <laughs> and then... So, like, we're just playing, like, normal game. Like, we're good. So, like, we are smacking it back and forth pretty good. Um, and he threw me, like, a cherry. <laughs> and I was like, all right, obviously I need to capitalize on this one. Get my points when I can get them. And I fired it. Like, <laughs> as, like I was over the table. Like, it barely was over the net. Buried it. As soon as I bury it, Coach York walks in. Turns to look at us. As he turns, the ball comes and hits him square in the <laughs> eye. And no. I, my face, I, my heart dropped. I was like, <laughs> this is like the second week of school. Yeah. Like, <laughs> just got freshman campus. year, we're right? Not, yeah, we're oh, not even tough, close yeah. to playing. I'm like, I'm not going to be on the power play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing a I'm lick. picking up pucks. Yeah. It was over before <laughs> yeah. it started. And then uh, he just like looks at me and he's like, Matt, like, you know, he's had some some eye issues in the past and I had to get surgery on one of them, I'm pretty sure. So he's like, Matt, that's my good eye. Be careful. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, I was I was so stressed out. I was telling Nui that I was like, dude, I'm not going to play this year. Like, <laughs> I'm going to get scratched every night. This is crazy. Oh, uh, no. like, I'm done with ping pong. For exactly. <laughs> I, I should have retired after that. That's tough. I love that he just bounced right back, though. Just like, boom. Oh, he was good. He yeah. he wore it like a champ. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, maybe it wasn't his first time. You know, like, oh. <laughs> I think it might have been <laughs> so be tough. Man. <laughs> it's a bad. I mean, being you know, a freshman in college is tough enough, but then yeah. second weekend, just yeah, you know, it wasn't even you like it was like corkum. It couldn't have hit him more in the eye. Like, <laughs> it wasn't like it barely hit him, like hit him square eyeball. <laughs> Did you guys finish the game? Like after that, or is it over? <laughs> Or is it just like I think we, I think we take stopped. the ball and go home? No, I think we stopped. I think I, I was like, I'm done. Like, 
<laughs> yeah, no, I, that, that's understandable. Fuck. Uh, okay. So you had that mishaps your freshman year. Is there anything else? What was the biggest, like, what was the struggle away from the rink, if anything? You know, how do you keep yourself on center and just focused on hockey? With, yeah. with the college experience, obviously, as a freshman, uh, sophomore. Uh, it really wasn't too bad. I think the the transition was was pretty nice. Um, I mean, I always wanted to go there. I always wanted to be there. So for me, I was I was kind of living out my my childhood dream. And obviously, I played juniors in Michigan. So yeah. I kind of came home for college in a way, mm -hmm. even though uh, I was living there. I was only like forty five minutes from home. So okay. Having like my family close and them being able to come game come to games made the transition a lot easier. I think just because you got some kids like knew he's like days drive and pretty yeah. good flight, so it's like harder for those guys. Yeah. I think, but for me, I think it was good to come home and have that support that I didn't really have for the last two years, just because my family obviously wasn't in Michigan. But right. transition school wise, I didn't think it was too hard. Um, they got an unbelievable staff over there and. And academic people that are really make it easy for you to be honest. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, what would you say like led you to you know commit to BC? Like you're from mm -hmm. Massachusetts, so like you know obviously UMass could have been could have been Boston. You know what was like? Yeah, BC is going to be it for you. Yeah. So I actually grew up. Um, my best friend from from home is Chase McGinnis. Mm -hmm. He uh, he's a freshman at Northeastern this year. Okay. And his dad Marty played uh, played in the NHL for a while. Played at BC. And he was the volunteer assistant coach when we were growing up until my freshman year at BC. So okay. me and Chase would basically go every weekend to the BC games. Um, it's basically how we spent our weekends. We'd, <laughs> we'd go there with Marty and we'd get there like hours and hours before the game because he, he was a coach. He was down yeah. in the locker room and then we'd stay, watch the game and go down the locker room and meet the boys meet the guys see what everyone was doing and stuff and when you're 10 11 years old like that's everything you don't really yeah you're hooked right exactly away. <laughs> like that's that's where you want to be and i remember when i was little just sitting at the rink and, and watching the pregame show and everything like that and in, in my head uh, i was just like this is where i want to play this is where i want to go <clears throat> i knew i was going to play college hockey that i want to play college hockey and i, I really didn't want to go anywhere else to be honest with you i i looked at their schools talked to their other uh, coaches and stuff like that but it was always kind of waiting for bc to come and waiting for it to come and then once it finally did it was it was pretty automatic that, that i was deal. gonna go there yeah was there uh, was there a school maybe michigan or maybe another school that you're like ah maybe like i know bc was it well, okay what was your second and third if they're um, yeah, let's make them feel bad real quick yeah yeah um <laughs> rub it in <laughs> so second would have probably been harvard i think um okay Played one year of prep school the year I committed to BC. Yeah. My coach was Ted Donato's brother. Okay. That's so easy yeah. connection there. Yep. Yep. Was playing with Jack Rathbone, who's going who's He's committed gross. there. Yep. yep. He's great. <laughs> um so like that was probably my second choice. And I definitely consider Harvard. I mean, stu right. stupid not yeah, to. Not? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I always want to go to BC. And then other than that, I never talked to to Michigan. I um or anything like that but that's probably would have been my third okay just growing up i uh i actually have family from michigan so okay well then yeah, yeah that was pretty easy but um assistant coach at, at bc mike air says i was the easiest easiest person ever to commit to bc <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean if you're in the locker room like you said at that age your mind is hooked mm -hmm. i was seeing like me when i was like 10 years old going down to the gopher locker room in minnesota like holy yeah that's it you know when, and bc's just been nasty for years like you years, were there exactly. like watching like, we'll always be nasty. Going off, yeah. yeah like yeah going there watching gaudreau hayes and, and arnold and guys like that just absolutely ripping so many up good guys. And, yeah it's, it was it was fun and <laughs> That was literally every weekend we'd go and do that, no no matter what. Just done. Like, when coach gives you the call, you're just like, yep. Right <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Coach yeah. Send yeah. the papers. Like, Let's go. <laughs> I talked to him on the phone, and I was like, awesome. Like, sounds good. <laughs> and then we set up, like, a visit, and we sat down, and he was like, it's like, yeah, we're going to offer you, like, a, a scholarship to Boston College. I was like, awesome. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> I've like, been waiting to hear those words. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's about it. Just done deal. I would say, or I had a question basically, just looking at your picture from, I think, you don't have many Instagram pictures for one. We got to bump those up this year. <laughs> not we'll many, no, no. Not many. <laughs> but the one with you and Spencer Knight, like you guys look like 
actual like kids like not that <laughs> no we do like we do. like to yeah. just play under you know coach york there just like you, know, you become a man like like that or like i mean we a true freshman you go in you're you're 18 years old it's yeah, uh true i mean just to speak to how young i was one of my uh one of my buddies i went in freshman year 18 years old my birthday's in april so like I was like 18 in a few months when we went into school. Like I was not old at all. And I go into the locker room and I'm sitting next to Ron Greco, who was 25 years old his senior year of high school. <laughs> and he's one of my buddies, which is why I'm saying this. But it's hilarious. He calls me his kid and stuff like that. It's, it's hilarious. But uh, yeah, fun. I was a, I was definitely a child. And I, I was already a late bloomer to start with. Mm -hmm. I didn't really grow or really put on much weight until junior year of high school and then uh, like obviously I've I've grown a bit more and put on more weight obviously and grown into my body but uh, I was a late bloomer to start with. All right ECH fans quick break in the action to talk about our new sponsor that we're so pumped about that's right we got beauty status hockey you're probably looking at my shirt like Thel you don't have style what happened yeah go to beautystatushockey.com that's beautystatushky.com dot com you can get this shirt this hat i'm wearing another nice lid tons of other good stuff i mean they, this lid too i mean everything it's, yeah. it's all good go on their website check it out it's all for a good price we are making our ech hat with them coming out november 12th it's spoiler it, alert but yeah if you need coming. some good if you need some good apparel go into the rink look good for the, the, the ladies hey beauty status is it check it out our hats coming out guys get ready there's limited edition you're gonna want to buy it uh more info on that coming out but uh for now hey matt boldy's got it and you got it. We all got it. Get it. The hats are nasty, especially the hat. I love the hats. Look at this hat right here. I mean, this is gross. That's what I'm saying. You're going to want it. Ogs and Gretzky? Like, come on. Get a little bit. Dip the feet in. You know, see what they have for shirts and hats. But then save one bucky on your, you know, your Christmas list, whatever it is. ECH. ECH hats coming out in November, mid-November. Mid-November. If you're a college hockey fan, it's a must get, folks. And it's supporting us and beauty status. All good cause. Um, until next time. Yeah. Beautystatushockey.com. And now... Back to Matt Boldy. But you walk in that locker room, you see those big guys. Like, what's it like going in the weight room first day with the seniors? Like, oh, shit. <laughs> it's got to be tough. Uh, for me, it wasn't wasn't that you intimidating. Can them, huh? Yeah. No, but <laughs> <laughs> I could stick handle better than a few of them. Okay, so there I, you go. So I knew I was all right. Yeah. <laughs> but you were confident going into BC, though? Like you said, you had the, the, mm. this, the ability to stick handle or shoot. Before or whatever, the ping pong better. accident. Before the, yeah, yeah, before. Yeah. Things are going to work out. Yeah, I was confident going in. I you got to be, yeah um yeah like you said you have to be to, mm. to be able to succeed um but going in i i was more just like excited to finally be there like mm -hmm. yeah i had waited so long to play there and to finally start and like actually play a game i was like so fired up it was crazy like yeah, our yeah. first game versus wisconsin was it's like a packed house full student section and like bc like all the students have like these like the goalie chirps and everything like oh, yeah. that and <laughs> Just growing up, I remember that was like the coolest thing ever. And like to actually be in a game and hear that stuff, it was it was unreal. Yeah, I mean, BC, the student section's nuts there. Speak more to that, just the atmosphere though at BC and what they got going. Yeah, the students, uh, the students are awesome. They they kind of light it up there, to be honest. Um, great setup too. I think it's different than a lot of other colleges. So they sit behind both nets. Oh god, you just can't so get away. You can't get, away, you can't get away from them. One. But and then the big games like BU and Northeastern, they played yeah. Northeastern this last weekend, mm -hmm. first time at Conti with fans and since oh, COVID. It was, it was packed. It's yeah, it packed. was yeah. nuts, I guess. Yeah, yeah. They said it was the most people they've ever seen at at one of the games, the kids on the team. I've which, heard that from a few schools saying like, yeah. I was talking to uh, Matsko after the game. He's like, Yeah, for the gophers, the most student section ticket that's ever sold ever. Same with UMD. Because of COVID, yeah. same yeah, with UMD, yeah, North Dakota. Back. I mean, all the fans are hungry for hockey, especially in college. Um, what was it like on campus, though, at BC? Talk about just being on campus, going to class. Mm -hmm. Did you go to class? Uh, <laughs> I went to class. You, you, yeah. Was school a well, good I'm thing for you or a bad year. thing? Yeah. Um, like, Did you like going to class? Or see, I'm not struggle? the biggest school guy, mm -hmm. but I do like go to class. I did yeah, all my go. work. I wouldn't say I was the best at it, but I did good enough. Mm -hmm. you I'd, got a deep, I'd, get, you know? I'd get B's. That's, that's it. That's I all do you need. Good enough, but it's better than me. So, so New Hook like, took the hard route and did the business school at BC, which is like top Lord. five in the country or something <laughs> crazy. It's it's not so like you sweating. I did not take that route. So <laughs> freshman year, I'd be sitting in my room at like six o'clock after practice, and I'd be calling him. I'd be like, "Where are you?" And he's like, "The library doing homework." <laughs> I'm like, come back. Like I'm bored. <laughs> sitting there all alone. <laughs> He'd sit there till like ten thirty at night. I'd 
I'd sit in my room by myself and he's, he's just doing homework. So yeah. you, you can definitely make it as hard as you want. But mm -hmm. for me, I'm not the biggest school person, but I definitely went and I, got the I did good. Yeah. Yeah. That's all that I matters. You knew you had something else ahead of you and uh, that's all right. Exactly. Bees to get degrees, so to see or whatever. Amen. Just score goals, right? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> whatever works. But I mean, we got to talk about like, what was that, you know, decision to, you know, obviously you guys, you know, went to the tournament number one seed last mm -hmm. year. Like, what was the decision like? Like, how hard was it? to choose to go to the wild like nobody's gonna argue that you weren't ready but mm. you know you guys had a chance to win it again like that's gotta be tough to yeah you know, walk away from. it's it was really tough i think i think the group that we had last year was was unbelievable i think the group we had freshman my freshman year was was unbelievable and we were playing our best hockey at towards mm -hmm. the end of that year which which sure. sucked that then but it was really hard i think like I said, I grew up always wanting to go there. I watched all those t those teams win national championships, and I want to win a national championship more than anything. I still see like some videos on Instagram about national championships, or they did uh, a memorial for the 2001 national championships. Oh yeah, yeah. at was... the game last weekend, mm -hmm. I was sitting there watching it, being like, "Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't win one of those." <laughs> but uh, no, it was tough. I think. A lot of people tried to like group us together, the four of us that left, saying that mm -hmm. we made that decision together, which which wasn't really that true. I think all of us made our decision on our own. But yeah, you no, know, if, if we could have had everyone come back and and had that team again, I I definitely think we would have had a really good shot at it. Yeah, no, no doubt. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, but you can't, like you say, you can't fault anyone. Every, right. every, everyone's with a different organization. You take the jump, and you know they've done well in the NHL. Everyone that's left, so. Mm -hmm. It is what it is, but I'm sure a tough decision in that one. And uh, yeah, but I guess on that, if you're trying to get someone to go play college hockey versus another route, why college hockey? What's what's the best part about college hockey? I think just the whole experience overall. I think mm. going, you're obviously playing really good hockey. You're playing against older kids. If you're if you're a young freshman, you're there's there's that dynamic of it. But just the whole atmosphere of of going to school and being in that community and yeah. and being a hockey player like. Being a hockey player at BC, I think, was the best thing ever. Like, I mean, um, like obviously BC has some really good sports, but I think yeah, at it's least a hockey school. It's, it's a, a hockey, hockey school. school. Yeah, yeah. Right. hockey's the best, the best sport there, in my opinion. So, to go there and go to like you're going to class with all these people, like they know who you are. They know who you are. People want to be your friend, like, and all those people are ninety nine percent of them are awesome people that that you need to be friends with in the future anyway mm -hmm, to, to mm -hmm. help you out. But I think just the whole atmosphere of it, going there, going, you're getting school, obviously, but you're getting really good hockey. You're getting, right. you're getting the group of kids. Like I'll never play on another team ever where uh, you play with like kids that are so close in age, Yeah, which I think True. was my biggest thing going to pro that I was like, this is like weird. Like <laughs> we got guys that are like 35 and have like a wife and kids. Right. Like, yeah. Their kids are walking the locker and like, Oh, I'm, exactly. I'm 20. <laughs> and like, that atmosphere of like just being with those guys every day and yeah, and being able to go through it all with them. And I mean, it's, it's, it's a blast too. You obviously have fun right. off the ice and that's, that's quite the plus. But, um, other than that, I think just, just the whole atmosphere in general is, is better than you're going to get anywhere else. Yeah. I mean, especially at like a school like BC, a hockey school. I mean, where everyone knows you, it's got to be the best feeling in the world. And then knowing that they're going to your game probably Friday, Saturday night. I mm -hmm. mean, that's, yeah. Yeah. What about, we do got to ask, I mean, how pissed were you to see that like the endorsements and likeness rule change literally <laughs> is the instant you get out of college hockey. You're just like, okay. Yeah, that <laughs> was, uh, obviously stinks. That would have been pretty cool just, just to be a part of, just to kind of experience it. But right, I think, uh. I wasn't too riled about it, I guess. <laughs> I, I, was, it I was doing okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. But just like again, BC, that's the <laughs> hockey exactly. school. Like talk about perfect situation for it. But you know, the you next know. guys can enjoy that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> next guy. Now you get to get paid anyway. So I mean I guess you're yeah. dead. But mm -hmm. uh, we'll be fine. Should we go to the world juniors here? Do you want to talk about that? I think so. I mean, yeah. well, we we were literally just. I looked it up. Uh, Matt Bold. We had a tweet of you just eating a shot in the World Juniors. <laughs> and I was just like, I mean, that's that's America right there. Talk about that whole experience. I mean, maybe you can relive that play, that puck coming at you. But like, yeah, I guess like the whole well, process up to that point until winning the goal. Like, what was that mm -hmm. whole getting with those guys, playing with those guys, practicing with them, picking their brains? Yeah, I think them, and then winning gold. The whole process, I think, was pretty cool because it was a lot of us from our national development program, right? Can't tell you how many of us there were, but they I don't were, have the number in front of me either. So. They were a good <laughs> chunk. 
I think in the low teens, to be honest with you. Yep. And then all those other guys you grew up playing with, like there wasn't one person on that team that I met for the first time at that camp yeah, or right. anything. So there, yeah. you're friends with everyone. So going into it, it's, it's pretty cool being able to to go into that situation that's like such a high stress situation where you mm -hmm. should be like really stressed out and, and anxious and you're going in with your best friends and it becomes not a joke, but like you're having so much fun doing it. Right. It's It makes it better, but whole experience from going to camp to going to Edmonton and the quarantine and the bubble yeah. and everything like that it was it definitely wasn't the the normal world junior experience but right. I think the way that that it was done made it pretty cool that we were able to go there and honestly there was nothing else to do but hang out with each other like we would just sit in our our like team meal room and just hang out with everyone and we had a ping pong table in there and we just like mess around so coaching's gonna walk just hoping York he doesn't walk in yeah, seriously <laughs> Um, I was playing from the other side, so I couldn't get up. <laughs> Smart, yeah. But uh, no, just the experience then going through the, the round robin games and stuff and mm -hmm. playing, like like I said, you're playing with guys that you've played with before. It's it's fun hockey. Everyone wants to make And plays against the and, best players at your age in the world. Like exactly. all around the world. I mean, that's got to be mm -hmm. like so, New Hook who you guys beat. So Yeah, yeah never let them live that one down. No, just, never. <laughs> never. Uh, just snap a picture of the gold. Like, what's <laughs> I but uh, no, the block shot um yes take me through it you probably won't find many more videos of me blocking a shot oh um, don't say that you're gonna sort it <laughs> we got Come this, on, man. i was ready to ask you block shot stats but go on I mean, <laughs> um, now he's pissed. you can ask anyone that i have played with i am not known for blocking shots but uh i don't know i kind of came over me <laughs> puck squared it out i couldn't tell you what went through my head yeah i just dove basically at the puck and hoped it hit me and it hit me and you know, that, that was that. And I remember Landon Slagger came over and gave me a hug. It was like, <laughs> it's like, I didn't know you had that in you. <laughs> like, me neither. <laughs> I was like, like me so. neither. Me neither. Get me off. Get me off the ice. <laughs> um, but no, that that was uh, just one of those moments as a hockey player where you just kind of get taken over by yourself. And I mean, to be honest, it didn't even hurt. It hit me right, right in my butt, right, right on the pad. So I didn't even feel it. I didn't even know it See? hit me. You more of those coming exactly. yeah <laughs> more. i gotta dive in front of well, the shots are more. a little harder now though so yeah. <laughs> that was still a pretty hard shot but yeah i was gonna say you actually 15 block shots freshman year padded That's not, pretty good nine actually. block <laughs> shots last year in a reduced season so not, not terrible numbers I, for a forward i actually had four block shots my first weekend last year so that's pretty bad <laughs> <laughs> all right we won't bring that part up <laughs> i was gonna say i mean you're going up against the big boys now you know trying to get uh, trying to get on that power player like not obviously you don't need to do it there but like you know earn more hot. time whatever yeah. yeah yeah i'll do Eat it if some. i need to for sure <laughs> not yeah. now you know like yeah. <laughs> <Not now. laughs> i would lay off as long as you can but. we'll wait for a little bit but yeah, yeah. mid-season i'll start checking all right in with right. You. let me know We'll get there. Also, I mean, we got to address, you know, we got a lot of, you know, former pod guests on the Iowa Wild right now. So if you do end up, you know, just like, you know, rehabbing, getting back in with those guys, can we feed Swainy a little bit? Like what? <laughs> we love Swainy. What do we got to do to get well, it? What's your thoughts uh, on Swainy? Obviously, you went to camp with him and stuff. What's your thoughts? Right actually, here? Swainy was my roommate at the end of last year. Let's go. So, Swain show. Um, I was by myself until they lost and he came back and. Was he sad? We, uh, <laughs> he was a little sad. But, uh, <laughs> Me too, Swainy. Me too. I didn't blame him, um, <laughs> but he came back and we we lived in a residence in together, like a hotel. Oh mm -hmm. hell yeah! So we each had our own room, which was nice. But no, I love Swainy. He's awesome. He's the best kid ever. He's just he's so lighthearted and funny all the time. He, he just, is, yeah. He just doesn't really care about anything. But <laughs> he he's awesome. I he, love. He's that a good kid. roommate though. Like takes it care of. Ah, uh, awesome roommate. Okay, good. Weirdly, wow. weirdly, like we went shopping when he first got there, and like weirdly the same foods like <laughs> we were like grabbing stuff and putting it in and it would be like the same thing oh, like yeah. we had the exact same taste already yeah, there it was, it, was a, it was a it was a good uh yeah, good looking like his chops right now he's like these guys coming you're that out. wild yeah, calm up <laughs> <laughs> oh shit where are we uh well we're Swainy, talking about Swainy. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. yeah i mean that's like the best compliment you can give somebody like yeah like, you, you can live with them yeah <laughs> no he was awesome i love Swainy. Well, I want to touch on like we've been starting to ask this for the last few guests at least. Like, how did you first, you know, get started playing hockey? Like, what age? What, mm -hmm. How did you first get to the rink and kind of fall in love with the game? Yeah, so no one in my family actually played hockey. My dad was a football player. My mom is is not very athletic. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> she knows it though. <laughs> she uh, she gives uh, me and my brother some other good traits, so we 
we give her that. But uh, there you go. Yeah, my dad was a football player. So growing up, we grew up in like a really small town. Um, they didn't have a football program. So my dad basically like loved hockey based off like how fast it was and how fun it was to watch. So he got my older brother, who's four, four and a half years older than me, um, into hockey. He'd bring him to the Providence Bruins games. Okay. Um, he had a buddy there and my brother fell in love with it. So when I was born, I was, I was basically born into my brother playing hockey. So you're at the rink. <laughs> exactly. At the rink. Um, he was still young, but I mean, for me, I, I guess my parents said I always had a stick in my hand, always, As it always be. messing around. And then the first thing was, was rollerblades. So I was in, in rollerblades before I could walk, I guess, um, <laughs> just wearing them around the house. And then basically as soon as I could walk, I started rollerblading and then obviously got into hockey a little bit older. Um, and then from there on, it kind of just took off, but, um, yeah, my I was basically born into it because my brother was into it. So mm -hmm. right. just trying to keep up with him, probably. Exactly. Like, with the big and, boys. Uh, him and his friends would would come over. We had this like huge driveway. I was like super smooth, so we'd play street hockey all the time. That's the best. I'd get thrown in net with him and his buddies and just get peppered all the time. <laughs> didn't want to be a tendy, huh? <laughs> I did for a while. Oh. Um, I actually did want to be a goalie for a while, and then my dad came up to me and said, "What do you want to do when you're older?" I said, play in the NHL. And he goes, how many goalies are on each NHL team? I said, two. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, how many forwards? I go, like 12, 13? He goes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then that, that got thrown away it's pretty like, quick. Take the so. gear off right yeah, now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> at what age, so. though, did you know, like even before Team USA, like did you know, like, all right, I got a shot at this, going to the show or going to college even? Or um, I think growing up, I was always, I was always pretty good, but I wouldn't say like, the best in my age group at all but I think I knew I thought that I knew I was going to play college I think sophomore year of high school okay um freshman sophomore year of high school that I was going to play division one hockey not really sure where yet and then I made the national development team and, mm -hmm. and went there and kind of saw where I was with those guys like I wasn't projected to be one of their guys at all I mm -hmm. was like I had people telling me, like, it was a tough decision for me to go there. I didn't know if I was going to get shoved on the fourth line and kind of right. lose every, like, the way that I played. Um, so, like, going there and, and being with those guys and basically seeing that I can play with those guys was kind of where I started to be like, all right, like, still obviously my, my whole life growing up, I want to play in the NHL. But that was when yeah. I was kind of like, all right, like, this can happen. And I can I can be a pretty high pick here. And then. From there, I obviously had a two two good years there and kind of took off for me. So yeah, I mean, I mean it's sink or swim once you get there. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> things yeah. start going well, and you're like, oh well, shit, yeah, <laughs> guess this is it. Guess we'll be all right. <laughs> what about yeah, just getting drafted by the wild? What was that night like? Yeah. like being there in person, that'd be just sick. Yeah, that was awesome. I think uh, I I was stressed out <laughs> out of my mind to be honest with you. Um, we got there. Like the whole day was pretty good. Like I was totally fine. And then I started getting anxious around like two and we didn't have to like be at the rink to like five or something. <laughs> so I'm like stressing out. I'm like in my suit by like 3.30 and we still have like an hour and a half to even have to leave. Just sweating bullets. Just sweating, <laughs> sweating like so stressed, like not even stressed, just like anxious being like, I need this to be done with. Yeah, and, yeah. And then once we finally got there and sitting through all the uh, all the picks before me and stuff, I was just like, my leg was twitching like up and down. <laughs> Where am I going to go? Yeah. And then once I finally got picked, it was just like a blur, to be honest. Like, I don't remember. After I hugged my family, I don't remember anything. Just like until I walked <laughs> off the stage into an interview. And then no like, way. you get whisked away like for like an hour and a half. Yeah, just nonstop. Just, just, talk no, to no like just... I don't even know where my family is, <laughs> and <laughs> I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't have my phone. So my brother has my phone, oh, shit. and like I can't even like text them or like, anything. So I like it's like one <laughs> thing after another. Like it's like as soon as you shake his hand, you're gone. Yeah, it's like <laughs> like you literally get whisked away. Like each draft pick gets a person that brings you to like 17 different stations where you're doing all different stuff. Like it's crazy, yeah. but. uh like to be drafted by the Wild, I think was was unbelievable. I think going into it, I I had pretty good feelings about them, so I didn't think I was going to make it past them. But obviously, I didn't. Got picked, but 
just just to be picked by them was was unbelievable. And then going into uh, that first development camp was was pretty special too. We went right from the draft to there. So mm-hmm. oh shit, that's so gotta I, be yeah. Not a wake up call, but something like whoa. You know, like you yeah. said, you walk in, <laughs> yeah. and you're sitting. I guess those guys, the big guys, aren't with you. Were they? Mm-hmm. Did you meet the the wild players right when you got to camp? I know they're no, not no. It camp. was uh, just development camp. Just, so, a, just the camp guys. So no one was there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Didn't know if you like you're meeting the captain right away or whoever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Either way, I mean that's just a whirlwind experience. That is, yeah. So like you're waiting, it, it you're sweating to get quick. picked, and then you're just thrown into everything. Exactly. Right away. It happens quick for sure. <laughs> that's a good story though. I mean, no one knows what it's like. Obviously, they say you shake hand on TV and mm-hmm. stuff, but they don't know you're gone. Exactly. Yeah. Gone for hours. Just a big couple of days, mm-hmm. man. What well, about? I just got to ask about those interviews that you get taken. You're going yeah. to multiple interviews. Do you even know what you're saying? Like, are you just, are you there mentally or? Uh, like Ricky at Bobby, that I don't point, it's like, hands. you're just saying the same thing over <laughs> and over. And yeah, yeah. Leading up to, to the draft, you're doing interviews with all the teams and right. all different media and stuff here. At that point, I'll probably never be as good as I was. What's that, that like? Do you have the same answer for every team that's interviewing you before the draft? Like, are you changing up at all or? Um, I mean, for the basic questions, it's. It's pretty, it's the same. Yeah, basically yeah. the same. I think if you ask me how I describe myself as a player, I would think I'd said the word for word, the same thing to every team. Mm-hmm. But um, like other than that, I think teams ask you like all different stuff, like after like the hockey aspect and everything right, like right. that, it's personal stuff. It's mm-hmm. personal. It's, it's different for, for every organization, obviously whoever your interviewer is, you're going to feel more comfortable with, with certain people based off their personality. Right. So right. It uh, mm-hmm. it's definitely a a strange strange uh situation going into all those and and kind of talking to to strangers about everything in your life. Yeah. That's, what about that's like weird. what's the weirdest question somebody asks? You don't have to say who, but like um, or anything. You're like, what the shit? <laughs> <laughs> I got asked to like, I got two. I got asked to tell a joke, and I froze. <laughs> I, yeah, what are you saying? Someone there? just looking for a I locker room guy. <laughs> like, I, yeah, yeah. I froze too. Like they le- they asked me about my family and then they asked me to tell a joke and I froze. Just no transition <laughs> into it. I froze. <laughs> well, like before they're like, all right, last question. And like I had just told them about like strictly my family. Like yeah. had nothing about hockey. And then they're like, all right, last question. Tell us a joke. And like, <laughs> I froze. And then guys, like, I'm gonna ruin this kid's day. You ready? <laughs> the other one, we went through like all the family stuff, all the hockey stuff. And then he's like, When was the last time that you had a beer? And I was like, oh, Shit, is this a trick yeah, question? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> My I was, dad let me try and sip <laughs> once. <laughs> I was like, uh, I don't know. Like, I think I maybe like said like a week ago or something like that. And he was like, Fucking rights. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. Yeah. On to the next. Yeah. Those so, are the ones you don't expect. Yeah. The joke one. That, that's just cruel. No, that's just cruel. Like, <laughs> it's, yeah, you get put on the spot a lot of times. A lot of times if, if you say something like stupid that like slips out like, or if you like compare yourself to a player that they don't think is like oh, you. Oh God. And they, yeah, call, don't do it, <laughs> and they no, no. call you out. It's the worst. Yeah. It's like, oh, uh, like, I have no idea. Like you just have no response to them. Right. Well, and you're like, dude, this is like my 15th interview. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> of, of the day. Yeah. Like, I, the I day. just want to go home. You like, don't pick have to, me or don't. Yeah. <laughs> We're fine. You don't have to answer this. We can cut it out too. Was Was there a spot you wanted to go in the draft or to a location or team? Uh, not really, to be honest. I think going into it, I was kind of like, between me and my agent, we were like, you're probably going to go from eight to 12. But like, we knew that Philly was in there and they were taking a D. No matter what, I think they were at eleven, and they traded with Arizona. Yep. So like, I knew that they weren't that they were taking a D for sure. Same with Edmonton. So like, really, it was like I was either going like nine, ten, or twelfth. Mm-hmm. So like, out of those, I mean, I I think Minnesota was like my bet, like where I wanted to go the most out of all those. Love it. Great answer. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly. What a couple wild fans <laughs> on <laughs> here. So appreciate that. Exactly. Um, we got to for sure do this question. It's our, we ask everybody we have on. Endurfin question. Use promo code ECH or Pucks in Deep for 10% off at endurfin.com. Um, but like for our young listeners out there, like what would your advice be, you know, for them to, if they're trying to get into college hockey, you know, just have the kind of success that you've had. Mm-hmm. What should their mindset be? You know, mm-hmm. how to, um, I think it depends on how old they are. I think if you're, if you're like a young kid, I think the biggest thing is just to have fun with it. I think. For sure. Now you see so many kids out there that their parents are all over them. They're they're kind of stressing them out, and 
they're all about hockey and they're not playing other sports and it's just hockey, hockey, hockey. And they're doing these summer camps and everything. It's like, it's like, just be a kid and have fun. Like you're just, you're not going to like it at that point. Like I think the yeah. biggest thing is and you see it every day going into the rink with all the NHL guys, just how much they all like want to be there. I think when parents are like that from such an early age and are all over their kids, like you're going to get to the point where you're just going to hate hockey and yeah. you're not going to want to be there and it's not going to be fun. And I think, that's the biggest thing that that I try to like do every day is just make sure I'm having fun. And to be honest, that's when I'm probably my best is when I go into games where I'm like, all right, this is just fun rather than going in and being like, all right, I need to do this or I need to do that. I think that's the right. biggest thing. You don't want it to become a chore out there. Exactly. Like, yeah. Playing a game. I mean, even like the world juniors, you guys were having the best mm -hmm. time out there. Oh yeah. Easy dubs. You know? Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah, you should have heard our bench too. Like you would have been like, "All right, these kids are either idiots or they're having the most fun ever." <laughs> were you chirping across the way? Uh, no, just like all like I said, we're all best friends. So yeah, like, yeah, true. You got kids saying like stupid stuff like, <laughs> to these kids that don't even know what you're saying. It's just it's funny, and it's just like for me, it's just like how much like to be able to do that in that stage. It just shows that like you're you're out there having fun and you're still laughing with all your buddies and. Right. That's when you're going to be good. It yeah, takes the, the pressure boys. off too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all good. I want a little bit of money on that game too. We can cut that out. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's fucking go. Good so, choice. Who was it? Zegris at the end? It was just like, holy fuck, we did it, boys, or something. Who, who, was, yeah. Was who it was Zegris. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think, yeah. Or was it someone else? Yeah, no, I think it was. Yeah. But so I was out there like that last shift and we were out there for a while, like a minute and 45, I think, or something crazy, <laughs> just like diving around, whacking pucks out, blocking shots. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would have. Say yeah, I would have. <laughs> um, but like, we had one play where I ended up being down low, and I just like tried to eat it on the boards. And this was after like a minute fifteen, and I got like my D behind me, like Cam York yelling at me, being like, "Let's go!" And I'm just like, "We're just whacking at pucks randomly." <laughs> we finally get it out, and I go to the bench. I have no idea how much time's on the clock. Like, I can't even breathe. <laughs> and I get one leg over the bench, and Zegra shoves me back on the ice. <laughs> and he goes, no, you're staying. Like, you're staying. And I, like, pull my leg back over, and I look, and there's, like, three seconds. And I'm, like, hunched over, and everyone's jumping off the bench and stuff. <laughs> it was it was a pretty cool, pretty funny moment. You're like, holy shit, we made it. Like, exactly. <laughs> At that point, I was like, I need to breathe first. Like, I remember going in and, like, jumping into the pile and, like, I was in there for like five seconds and like immediately got out because I couldn't breathe. Like I had yet to catch <laughs> my winded. breath. You're like, no, but, seriously, I need a walk. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody help What's me What's that out. feeling like though, winning the gold, getting the medal around your, your neck and all that. And then after that, going to the locker room with the boys, like mm -hmm. we just, we just did it. Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. I think there was a lot more emotion to, I think with our NTP group because we didn't win yeah. 18 worlds, um, which I think a lot of people thought that we should have. Me including, but um, going there and winning that and getting gold and mm -hmm. and being with the group that we had was unbelievable. I think just just doing it with your best friends made it even more special. And then yeah, it's it's honestly like that's probably like the most joyful I've ever been after like after anything. It was it was unbelievable. Just like skating around with those guys after, and then I actually got screwed after the game. We uh, <laughs> I was the random drug test. Oh God! <laughs> what? So after every game, they let you celebrate. There's a random drug test, and they come in and they're like, "Boldy, your random drug test." And I'm like, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> and I'm like, "I'm like refusing to go, basically, because like yeah. we had just I've been locking for two minutes. Like, yeah, can you give us a and they second like here? whisk me away, so I'm not <laughs> even <laughs> in the locker room after we won World Junior. No, so I didn't even get the locker room. By the time I get back from the from the drug test and it's over like everyone's out of the locker room and brutal. i'm like oh my god that's like a nightmare fuel but yeah, yeah we uh we had some fun back at the hotel and everything so it was good yeah. i'd be ready to fight whoever yeah. pulled me <laughs> no, i'm mad i'm mad at no. yeah i mean that's that's not cool man come on they yeah. can't they can't the wait 30 day, minutes yeah. <laughs> until you like shower well, plus like you're probably getting like covid tests and everything so much too yeah. and you're like oh, okay now here comes the drug test yeah. sweet you exactly. couldn't test me before the game or yeah. anything like, yeah Damn, I didn't even, yeah, just the fact that they had one after the gold medal game was was pretty crazy to me, but right. it's part of it, so. They wouldn't do that at Team Canada one. It's bullshit. <laughs> it's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking haters, man. Let's do a quick speed round and then okay. rip it. Let's 
quick answers here. I mean, we already let's right. just start it with the one I want to hear. Over under fifteen blocks. This <laughs> over. <laughs> over. 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 Yeah. Confident. <laughs> I'll okay. take it. Yeah. I like that. What yeah. about like the best die you've noticed on the wild coming to the coming to the rink or Iowa Wild? Either one. Um the best what? Who's style. got the best style coming to the rink? Suit, um whatever. The Wild, I'd probably say Dumba's got some good suits. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking. Good suits, good cars. Yeah. yeah. Does he does New Hook give him a run for his money? You know, because he, he had some nice yeah, swag coming to the rink with New he does suit. good. He does really good. Yeah, actually. Good. Yes. yeah. Um This is the Fedora game. You know? The fact that I he mean, texts a photographer at BC said I'm coming. Every time. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> it's like, be ready. Every did, did you want picks? Did you even get picks walking oh, the I, game? I had a few. There were some out there. Did so you ever like, ask, like, hey, get me, I'm coming or yeah, he'd sit out there. Like okay. I, if I thought I looked good, I text him. But, uh, <laughs> Heck, yeah, it's the day. See, like the thing is, is like Nui will get to the rink for a seven o'clock game at like four o'clock, <laughs> like crazy early, just to make sure the shots get. He do a couple laps. Like, like you, <laughs> you know what? That it. take wasn't good. I'll be back. Like, I'll be back. <laughs> crazy early. So I I wouldn't wake up to my nap until he was gone. <laughs> so I couldn't even like put my outfit on and like have him like look at it because he does have good style. But um, <laughs> no, he he definitely does a good job with the outfits, especially now that he's got more money. He he's upped it a bit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's repping. Which yeah. you love. I mean, like social media people, like even for the Avalanche, it's like uh -huh. seamless transition. They're like, yeah. here he comes to the ring. I was like, exactly. all right, yeah. <laughs> still got it. Exactly. <laughs> Let's go. What are we ready? What about uh, what was your favorite sweater for BC? I mean, they got oh yeah, some of the best in, yeah. in college hockey. I Absolutely. think when I was there, it was definitely the throwback, the mm -hmm. white throwback. Those are sick. Yeah, the one uh, you gotta keep, huh? Yep, that yeah. was my favorite one. The one that uh, knew he lost. Yep, yep, I'm pretty sure he lost that one. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Um, <laughs> almost positive he lost that one. Um, <laughs> but that one was my favorite when I was there. Um, I always like the ones that. Uh, just said like Boston that was arced and then college under mm -hmm. when I was growing yeah. up going to the games where like yeah. Kevin Hayes and Gaudreau were Good there yeah. 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 Yep. I always thought those were pretty pretty sweet and pretty clean did you ever you guys ever get to wear those no we didn't we had a uh, York's like I'm keeping these tucked away yeah. so <laughs> till the time they got them this year in gold they have oh, yeah, that, that which is that, a yeah. good look but yeah. our golds my freshman year were like both where it was an eagle, like the old one with just the mm. eagle on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then it was just like the basic BC logo my sophomore year on the gold, okay. which both were nice, but not my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha, fair enough. Like, still waiting on yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. uh, white or black tape? Black. Why? I've always used black. I think when I use white, my blade looks huge. I don't <laughs> know enough. why. What about uh, bubble or cage and why? Uh, I always wore bubble. Yeah, obviously, the bubble I just... Yeah. Uh, I went to the development program. Those ca the flat cages I couldn't do. They're too Gosh, ugly. <laughs> too ugly. Yeah. Do you think we should bring like visors into college hockey? Oh, good question. What would your take beyond that? Um, I think if they brought visors, they'd have to allow fighting. Hell yeah, you know that's coming. You know which coming. they Keep wouldn't talking. do because <sighs> insurance wise from the school. Okay, cut the insurance side yeah. and see. But yeah, but should there be college hockey for fighting? fun? I purposes. mean, if, I went. Yeah, like go. students would go insane. Exactly. If they were I mean, I was at St. Cloud versus Minnesota at St. Cloud this weekend, and there's a scrum. Like, dude got body slammed, but the I, place has never been There were three people insane. on the ground. Yeah, like, imagine. They were nuts. They were, the the students, students were going insane. They'd go insane. Like, They'd be sold out every game. That's like, even like sure. talking to the kids after games, like, your buddies that are, are students at the school, they'd be like, you could score the sickest goal ever. And they'd be like, dude, that scrum was like <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, the kids would go insane, but. I don't think that's ever going to happen. That's going to let them do it. Yeah. It'd be too much fun. Yeah. But it makes sense. I mean, just let it go. I guess you're going to let them wear cages and stuff, but mm -hmm. it's good for college hockey. Yeah. We'll argue that till our deathbed. Is there anything, screw the speed round, but is there anything in college hockey that, uh, like a rule that you would change other than that fighting? Um, not really. No. I think it's stupid how you can shoot the puck out of play in the D zone. Yeah. Yep. I agree. Other than that, that again. I don't think there's there's much. I just think that's stupid because at every level above that, it's a penalty. Mm -hmm. And yep. it's not like it's like kids are good enough at that level where they shouldn't do that yeah, to start yeah. with. So Exactly. Exactly. I like that. Oh, what what well, is your uh, favorite goal you scored in college hockey? Like memory-wise going back. Um, my favorite goal. I had one versus Northeastern where I came down the right side. 
new hook slid it in and I like cut across the goalie, like jumped over a stick and shot it in. And I thought that was a pretty good one. Um, That's not bad. That one. And I scored another one versus Northeastern my sophomore year. Where it was a three on one and I lost it. I was going to pass it and I lost oh, it. I actually remember this I one. Yep, and I know it, you're talking. It, it doesn't really look like I lost it either that much. And I grabbed it and went backhand, backhand shelf. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I remember <laughs> Drew Hallison was uh, the D coming up. And I remember going into the huddle and me being like, thank God I scored because you would have absolutely <laughs> fed me if I didn't pass <laughs> that to you. But uh, no, I think... Uh, those those two stick out. I can't think of another one. To be good. honest with you, that's a good answer. No, I because I actually like I wasn't prepared for that answer. I, well, I visually had, remember that goal being posted. Yeah. I was just like, no, I had one versus Merrimack my freshman year too, which was the nicest one. I was on the right side. The D tried to hit me, and I jumped around him, puck through his legs, and then cut back and shot and scored. Just that was probably my yeah, nicest good. one. Okay. Just one that sticks. I was like, man, <laughs> you're reliving these right that's now. That's probably <laughs> the probably the coolest one that I scored out of all of them. How uh, how happy are you got out that you got out of BC before they went to Warrior? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I'm not the the biggest Warrior fan. Um, I've always been a Bauer fan, so okay. I think uh, talking to the guys, they actually they like it. They like it. Oh, um, interesting. The pants, I think, are. Are messed up now though. They're like a brown, Uh, and their helmets are like red. Yeah, and then their gloves don't match that well, I guess. But other than that, (laughs) other than (laughs) other than that, 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 apparently, (laughs) apparently they everything feels good. Okay, so everything's comfortable. Are you? uh, You don't have to say this either. Are you signed with Bauer now? I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. What What about Bauer makes it stand out? Um, I've always used Bauer my whole life. Um. I don't know why, I just everything I've ever worn has been Bauer. And then I just, I, I think I like it a little bit more. I think it looks better than a lot of the other companies do too. Um, it's a little bit more simple in a way, but yeah. Um, skate wise, I don't think I've ever even put on a CCM skate or, yeah, me or anything. So I couldn't even tell you if they were good or not. Um, <coughs> you rocking the hyperlights this year? I am. Yep. Love them. You love them? I do. Good. What about the stick? Where are you going? Uh, I got the Supreme Ultrasonic. Okay. Yeah, used that last year. So interesting, interesting. Not gonna ask you any more questions about it, but I had to. I was curious. <laughs> I was curious. What about go to karaoke song? Uh, um, bring the house down. Yeah, probably Ice Ice Baby. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I'm Gets I'm a people decent, going. decent karaoke here. Yeah, yeah. must see. Okay, better than <laughs> like would you say best on BC or um. I don't know. We got some, some <laughs> characters that could put some stuff together, but uh, that's not a question that I can answer. You got to ask someone else. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll say starting line. Okay. Yeah, starting you're, line. Uh, you're on the top line there. Yeah. Okay. Top what, six, at least. Top six. <laughs> <laughs> what about, let's just say, you know, like your pregame routine? Any any superstitions you got? He said he had, well, not so yeah. superstitious. But. Um, nothing crazy, to be honest. I think it's more like a routine than and superstitions yeah um but nothing really I, I do everything left first and that's like that's probably my biggest superstition like for when i wake up from my nap like everything has to be my left first so like putting my pants on i have to do my left leg first my shirt left arm that's first normal. Yeah. but other than that it's more just like a routine i got gotcha. yeah you go coffee before the game or no i do but where are you going now that you're in minnesota where are you stopping at uh, I just get it at the rink because it's oh, free. Yeah. <laughs> you got money now, though. <laughs> I know, but I'm not like stop. I'm not like a coffee connoisseur, so like I just get black hot coffee. You just like, gotta carry one to the rink for the picture. That's really you don't have to. That's a it. manly choice. See, I I, I think it's stupid to pick, go pay for a black cup of coffee, black <laughs> hot so coffee. Yeah. So like, I'm with you there. I'm gonna drive like five minutes out of my way to get a black coffee black hot coffee rather than just go to the rink and get one for free and it takes 25 <laughs> seconds to make <laughs> yes yeah, yes for the picture yeah Plus, i feel like the it's boys are chirp you too if they figured it out and they'd be like what the shit uh a lot of guys stop actually oh, and yeah? bring their own but i mean those guys are driving like 30 minutes from their houses and stuff or, or from true. their apartments like yeah, if i'm walking right to the there. game at school or 
or if staying at the hotel going to the game it's like You're right there yeah. exactly it's just easier <laughs> to get at the rink like, fair enough fair enough yeah <laughs> Are you number 12 this year? I am. Were you surprised yeah. you got that number? Or were you just like, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was happy with it. I, I didn't ask for it. I didn't do anything. I, I got a call from the equipment manager in Iowa that was doing everything when I first signed to get everything settled for when I got there. And he was like, yep, you're, you're already number 12. And I know they already said that you're number 12 in Minnesota too. And I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. It's yeah. like you signing with BC. You're like, uh, sounds good. Yeah. All right. I was like, I had no <laughs> arguments. So it was good. Um, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, no, we're fired up to hopefully get, you know, number 12 in the stall back here yeah. soon. Yeah. We'll gotta. Absolutely. See what we can man. do. No, Matt, we appreciate you for, you know, taking the time with the ankle and everything for yeah, coming by the you. studio. Um, big player in the studio. Our third player overall, right? Let's came here. I think so. Yeah, yep, Max yep. Johnson. So Almost future, Johnson, yep. future wild player. Yep. You know, <laughs> we'll, see. <laughs> we'll see. You bump him. Sure. Yeah, we'll give him the bump. Nico Sturm and now Boldy here. So awesome. Appreciate it, man. We're giving you the ECH bump. Not that awesome. you need it, but you all got right. It. You got it. <laughs> all right. So again, thank you to Matt Boldy for coming into the studio. Looking forward to him coming again uh, on his own willpower without the scooter. Yeah, we'll yeah. say that most you know? definitely, most definitely. And looking for a big season from uh, BC. Maybe he gives them a bump by coming on. They could use it. Um, I think but, so. Yeah. Hey, why not? Um, but again, thank you, Matt, for coming on. That is Matt Boldy of the Minnesota Wild, former Boston College Eagle and World Junior Champion. That's right. He's got a gold around his neck. Matt Boldy. Wait till that Lord Stanley comes in his possession. And uh, you know what? With the bump, anything is possible. I'll yes. say it. So we'll be back giving you guys all the bumps you need next week with another episode of Pucks in Deep. And with our selection from the U.S. Team National Development Program, we select Matt Boldy. Game as well. Boldy stops, shoots, scores! Matt Boldy has a multiple goal game for the third time in his last six. Boston College, the top seed of the Northeast region, are looking to strike first, and they will! The Hobby Baker finalist, Matt Foley. one nothing Boston College. He passes up for Matty Veneers, Veneers on a break, he passes, they score! Matt Foley buries the feed. For Zegras, Zegras for Foley, Foley scores! There's going to be one more goal against for Parikh before they make the goaltending change as Boldy makes this a 6-0 game with the third power play goal of the game for Team USA. Once again, USA Hockey wins the World Junior Championship. Red, white, blue and gold. Oh